This is going to be a for whoever needs it message. Message? Message? Yeah. Well, this is a gift. I'm going to give y'all a little gift. Give some information on Jumpers. Okay. Might be about y'all money. Y'all be looking good out there. Y'all be looking stable. Stable Mabel. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah, y'all are dang going. Seven of Pentacles, yes. Somebody here is working hard and they are getting uh it's harvest time. I've been putting this work in and it's time to collect. And I do see it paying off. Y'all been real practical, down to earth, and I see it working out. I see more of it, okay? More pinnacles, yeah. This is about your career. Okay, yeah, judgment is on B. Absolutely, judgment upright. It's about damn time. Yeah, that's what that is. It's about damn time. This could just be, yeah. This could probably just be taxes or something. Like you're getting your little tax return. Some of y'all get back seven grand or a little bit more. You're getting back more than what you thought. That's what I'm gonna say. Judgment on the four wands, yeah. There's more money coming into the home. Okay. Y'all got a little, y'all got a little jobby job. Mm -hmm. I worked there all year. It's time to collect. <laughs> okay, then. Absolutely, Eight of Pentacles, wow. Yeah, this is y'all job. Okay, cool. This is a journey, and this is like, I don't know how long you worked at this job, but whatever you're doing, baby, keep doing it. Keep doing it, because it's working in your favor. You know what I'm saying? I see it moving up. Somebody here, judgment on a Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody that's down to earth, practical, knows their, knows their trade. I know what I'm doing. Seven of Pentacles, I've invested here. That's how I've got where I am. Four of Wands, this place of employment, party like your second home. King of Pentacles, I'm here all the time. Eight of Pentacles, you're moving on up to the sun. Deluxe apartment in the sky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boss man is here. Mm -hmm. Somebody here feels sorry for you. Um, I mean, uh, they do. Queen of Pentacles, I don't know what you're doing. And this is man or woman. It's just an energy of a practical, stable person. This is um, a reliable Ronald. Like, you could you can count on this person. They're here. Rain, rain, snow, or sleep. They clock in early every day. They don't miss no time. And it's about time, judgment. It's like, um, who here got the most hours on the clock? And I do see somebody here, you know, I hate to say this for you because I don't want you to feel like this person did it out of sympathy. But I mean, she kind of, because I don't know if you don't have education. Do you get what I'm saying? Some of y'all could be getting a job because somebody felt sorry for you. Like, man, this, this person may not have what it takes but they're a really hard worker and I'm I'm more inclined to give them a professional position because people know talent. They know um, good help is hard to find. Whatever is on your resume, it speaks for itself. It's not, okay, here's what I'm going to say. I don't want to downplay you because you're a very hard worker. I think that you're a laborer. I don't know how much college educating you got, okay? I don't think it's a lot. I think that you are a hard worker. You're practical. You get the job done. You are in some type of professional atmosphere where there is someone here that feels compassion on you, okay? You also may be working with a boss in a current line of employment where there's been hella judgment on you. People definitely overcritical with you. 
okay? But you also the most down to earth, cool ass person there is here and you're reliable and you're consistent and you've got a boss in your corner. This is a dude that um, is a, he's a boss. He's the boss man. And he does, he takes pity on you. He's got a soft spot for you, okay? This is a man, this is a, most likely this is a female boss taking more sympathy on a dude, but for valid reason, okay? What I'm seeing here is valid reason. It's, there's no sexual attraction going on, no. But this is more of a female-male dynamic where you're gonna have a man feeling more compassion on a female. And he tends to let things slide for whatever reason. I think that whatever line of work you're in, you already getting paid decent. But I mean, not for nothing, you you there every day put, punching that clock. You, you come early, you stay late. I mean, I'm talking Knight of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles, say word. You there all day. This is your second home, okay? And people are critical of you. Judgment, they're critical of you. They're over critical. I mean, listen, you're the easiest target. You're there all the time, which means to tell me you're there. Well, so when somebody's there, they're learning the hard way, okay? So you're going to make mistakes along the way. You're going to make mistakes along the way. You're going to get in front of bosses and leaders that are intelligent and you will have to bow and kiss the ring and say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, which I think you've, you're very good at because you know, like judgment is judgment. King of swords, right is right and wrong is wrong. And when I made a mistake, I'm the first one to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know it'll never happen again. And I do see a masculine energy, whether it's a man or a woman, this person is in charge. They have a soft spot for you, but not because of anything sexual. I, I want to repeat that. I'm going to say it louder for the ones in the back. This is no, nothing sexual. It's because you are a diligent, hard worker here all the fucking time. Second home. Second home. Okay. Mm, you know it. You know it. I think that there's a part of you that knows. <sighs> Before I go any further, especially with I got high priestess with the high priest on the bottom of the deck before I started shuffling. What the hell is going on? Mm. Mm. This changed. Because I need to clarify what I'm saying here. Girl, don't you start. Yeah. You got a boss here that's sad. He's keeping something from you. And this, I don't really want to tell you this. He don't. It's bothering him. So either you're bothering his ass with too many questions. You are an all-star employee. But you might be getting on your boss nerve. He does got a soft spot for you and all, but like there is people coming for you constantly. And these people coming for you, they fucking pick at this dude, yo. They look, nine of swords, they want him to take action on you, but he got a soft spot for your ass. If you only knew, yeah, pathway. Mm -hmm. it, the pathway is in a challenged position, okay? So your career line of work here has been challenged. What is being hidden? What's hidden here? What do I got hidden here? Seven Pentacles with the Four of Wands. That's the Eleven, so shit. And High Priestess, Eleven. You get what I'm saying? This is, shit, this is on the Divine. This is um, Faded Events. High Priestess, you know a lot about this company you work for, girl. And, uh, 
you know a lot about this company you work for. You know enough. I don't know, you could run this place from the front to the back, or you do. You know a lot about the company you work for. Um, I could be talking to a boss. Let me stop. I could be talking to somebody who worked their way up. I'm all the way up. Yeah, you worked. I could be talking to somebody who worked their way up through the ranks. Now you're a boss. Oh, Lord. Fuck me. Girl or boy. Because I got a man and a woman here. Girl or boy. I need more. Pathway with distant horizons don't tell me a whole lot. Oh, Lord. Look, why? Why would you do this to me? See this? See the Nine of Swords? to the imprisonment. That does not tell me a whole lot. Oh my God, what are y'all talking about? What, 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 what? You really had the pathway laid for you, but the pathway off jump was challenging, meaning there was obstacles and delay. And this would be like going into, what do they call them rooms? that you gotta go into like at a um, fair or amusement park and you gotta get your way out of it. You gotta like figure out the puzzle, okay? This is a career line where you kinda had to figure things out on your own. Like this wasn't easy for you. This was a very hard pathway. But it's rewarded you and you know more than a lot of other people. And this, some, um, in, the, in the future, okay? The knowledge that you have obtained about this business cannot be replaced. You know too much. You know too much about this company. You were one of the first original people there and you've risen through the ranks. But why, 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 what's going on with this company? They're telling me that you work for this company. You have worked for this company years, yo. Years, 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 years. But what I don't like, okay, with the Nine of Swords to the imprisonment, um, okay, let me stop being so dramatic. Um, because you know everything, you know every damn thing, for one. You are the only source of information, and these, these people driving you crazy with questions. I felt that. I was like, somebody here to, to ask too much shit. Well, baby, you are the only one that has worked there the longest. I mean, but you're like, oh, my God, I'm trapped. The phone never stops ringing. People never stop asking me shit because you know the most. You are the source of information at this employment. You feel like you're going crazy. Also, on a side note, when I said you lived at this place of employment, you live, you live there. You fantasize about going on vacations and shit. Mm hmm But you feel trapped in this employment. Also, I have a boss here that is real sorry. And I have a very challenged pathway. And for whatever reason, he's got you at the Seven of Pentacles in his department. Okay? They're for unknown reasons. Now, why would this boss man keep you in a position for unknown reasons? And what you want, what you really want with the high priestess is so far away. It's distant. Meaning, I know that you want, you're at the seven of pentacles. You're telling me, yo, I've worked here forever. I deserve to advance to an eight, Okay. I, I got a boss here with the nine of swords to the imprisonment. You ain't going nowhere. Now, why? Why would that be, baby? Why? Okay. So the first card out the deck is the strongest card on your energy. Can I can I enlighten you what, what I've learned <laughs> over the years? Okay. When I've dealt with a boss who had a soft spot for me. Mm-hmm. 
And he just seemed like he was the pathway. And he was going to help you through all your challenges on all these people that were critical on you, on your mistakes, you know. You will make a lot of them because you're the only one there the longest and you got the most hours. But the strongest card out your deck is Queen of Pentacles, okay? Which tells me you're down to earth, you're practical, you show up for work every day, you're there uh, not only on time, but for time, and you also stay late. Then they told me that you have maximized this company's potential. You are the source, as in everybody goes to you for information. Now, why would that be? And why would this man want to stop you from, you're at the seven of pentacles, advancing in the future to the eight. But why would somebody be trying to prevent you from going there, babe? Could, would you care, I mean, anybody making the connection here? Why would the man with the soft spot for you, the woman, and if this is not, if I'm talking to a dude, this is a female boss, okay? But it is the opposite sex, and there is a compassion. Every time that you came under fire with judgment, this man has had a soft spot for you. He is a man of business. First of all, he ain't no fucking soft spots. He is a man of practicality. Um, he's extremely educated. Um, right, wrong. There's no emotion on the King of Swords. He's very aloof, meaning he does not see you as a sexual object. Queen of Pentacles, he sees you as an employee. Furthermore, he thinks he's smarter than you and you are what? Beneath him, okay? Also, he's got the final say over his employee's judgment card. Um, he does have a soft spot for you. Because, now why would that be? This man who has no, this dude ain't got no soft spots. They told me he's a man of um, no soft spots. He is a man of business. So why? Why would he show you any comparison? Why? Is it because you've had this pathway on you where you have this knowledge that only could be obtained from someone who has lived, breathed, sh uh, eat, Sleeped shit a company. Now, why do you think this man don't want you to go nowhere? Either A, you are now competition. Or B, he cannot afford to lose you. Because honestly, When people are asking, I got to take these cards in order. King of Swords, High Priestess, Nine of Swords. People are asking this boss of yours questions he can't answer. Now, why would that be, baby? Why? And look at you here smirking at the job. You know, you know why. You know every damn thing, High Priestess. You know a whole bunch of shit. You know how to run this whole damn plant. Or this whole damn company. So why do you think he's trying to delay distant horizons on your career path? If you don't know, let me enlighten you. You've been stuck at the Seven of Pentacles for a long time. Can I tell you something? Too fucking long. The... Fucking Knight of Pentacles, oh my God, this has been a rough journey for you. Just to get to the eight, just to get to the next level. I don't know if you're in a um, government line, like a government employment, like you're a, a GS7 trying to advance to a GS8, or you're a technician seven trying to advance to tech eight, whatever the hell you're trying to do. You're trying to advance to the next level. Now, why do you think this man is so bothered by your by you leaving and i do think the man has expressed emotion begrudgingly begrudgingly this is not his strong suit to express any this is when review time comes up okay this is when he gets real short shitty with you i'm sorry but you didn't do well on your review and you're thinking like how the fuck pathway how the fuck did i not do well 
well, I know you had visions of advancement, but I see you needing more. And then that becomes real aloof. Well, what do I need to do to get to the next step? Well, the pathway on the next step is not real clear, but there's something in the works for you. Now, whatever it is, we don't fucking know. We don't know because he can't tell you how to improve. Now, why would not, why would this man not be able to help you when he is your fucking fearless leader and there's, he's, he feels bad that your pathway is being blocked. He feels so bad for you. He feels so bad for you. With the judgment card, this is the motherfucker here that makes the judgments. He's the one that chooses to advance motherfuckers through what? This company. So you're going to go from seven of pentacles to the eight of pentacles within this company. Why then? Well, what is the big secret? Why is it so distant for me? I tell you why. Because somebody here has known too much. You know too much. You're too valuable. You know too much. It's too much of a risk to lose you. And him being a business man, he's business. All business at the end of the day, baby. Don't take it personal. Four of cups. Don't take it personal, love. This is the game of business. The fact is he needs you. You have, you're, um, you are out there on the front lines way more than this dude. He does have a guilty conscience. This is somebody that feels bad for holding you back. But after all, if he doesn't, you're going to move on out of his department, out of his control, no longer an asset for him, advancing through the ranks. And you've been doing this, mm -mm, girl or boy, bye, bye. I did that shit for about, sorry, I'm gonna cuss. I did that for three years before you got to come to a point in your life. At the time, I had outside factors also going on in my own personal life. And then this creepo that was dragging me on my money, literally, I'm going to tell you something. Seven of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles dragging you ass on some money. He cannot tell you when new money is coming in. It's on a distant horizon. He does not know when. That pathway is unclear. This is the man that makes the fucking rules. Stop playing. That's when you got to cut your losses. I don't care what he promised you. Cut your losses. Change. You got to then take control. And say, you know what? I don't care if a motherfucker owe me 50 grand. Bye. Because somebody here is just going to keep keep you on a hook. And this person also has your back when um, incidents occur. Because you're also the person who's there the most. Which tells me that you're more prone to catching incidents. Um, when things go bad, you're the most skilled there. You're the one that's there the most. But mistakes happen. Accidents happen. And who else would have your friend? Your buddy here, right? He's been helping you out a lot. He's been greasing the wheels. He doesn't report a lot. He does got your back. He keeps his mouth shut about some shit now. You've also gained a little privilege up in here. You, This is privilege, meaning you do take too many breaks. You Basically, you do whatever the hell you want, but you're also here up teen hours a day. Listen. He feels like he's giving you reward and you're giving him reward because why? You never leave, yo. You're there all the time and at the snap of a finger, all we got to do is snap, all we got to do is crack his fingers and I do mean and your ass is booming. You probably do 100 miles an hour back there to work. Mm -hmm. Jump when that man says how high. Listen. I'm telling you what, 
Um, this is about enough. When I get a 99 energy, not only that, a 911, because a 9 of swords with the 29 equals a 911, okay? 11 was real popular with your spread when I had the high priestess and whatever the hell other card I had there with it. You had 1111. Let me tell you something in my, um, Fire Marshal Bill voice. Let me tell you something. Um, Something's fitting close, baby. It, it, it's about it's about there. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, it was um, not just the work environment, but my personal life started hitting crisis. And what I was good at was dealing with work crisis. Well, no problem. I left my lunchroom, took two hour break. What these people spent hours working on, I handled in ten seconds. Let me tell you something, until shit starts falling down in other parts of your life, your personal relationships, then you're going to realize how long have I been here and not making no forward progress and you running this whole damn place. This place can't function without you there and that is a fact. Look, I, listen, high priestess with the damn facts best kept secret and this man if you think he's coming off his best kept secret his lethal weapon you out your damn man let me tell you something b you ain't going nowhere he keeping that you his uh secret weapon up in there you motherfucking double oh seven yeah i know you had a seven up in there anyway i don't care yes there you are seven of pinnacles you are a seven, you are a 007 in his pocket. He is not, no, no girl, no boy, no, no. That shit, whatever he promised you is way the fuck off. With the high priestess, he can't even give you a date or when to expect it. I'm telling you what, when God calls judgment on it, sorry, it just fell. When, I, when God calls judgment on it, be prepared, Felice, because uh, for me, let me tell you something. When uh, the 911 hit for me, uh, I had no problem telling this dude, none. When I was in grief, when I was like, uh, I don't even get grief often. And I do think you and this person have a lot in common. You both like down, you both business people. There is not a lot that upsets you, but when you do get upset, let me tell you something, you will lose your fucking mind up in here. You will go to jail. Um, you will have no problem telling this person with the nine of swords to the king of swords. That's betrayal. That's doing the utmost. Like, I don't give a fuck. It'll be fuck you and fuck her and fuck all of y'all. You don't have a, you don't have got no problem hurting somebody's feelings is what I'm trying to say. And after all, baby, don't take it personal. Okay. Don't take it personal. Don't be up in your head about it. I see somebody here is up in their head about it, but with the 911, I, I think that you've been spending so much time um, at work that you've been neglecting other areas of your life. And not for nothing, this boss of your this boss of yours does grease the wheels for you. You do do whatever the hell you want. I see you sitting down enjoying lunch a long time, baby. Mm -hmm. Why why wouldn't you? You've already done the work. I mean, what what else is there left for you to do? Whatever call they put you on, you already resolved it. Where is the promotion is what I'm seeing. Why is it so distant? This is, um, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. No, we don't do that. No, no. Um, if you do leave, I see somebody here has kept you prisoner and hostage there. If you do go, this person's going to have a freak panic moment. That means if something happens in your life that does require a 911 emergency, um, after the necessary time that it would take for you to handle that situation, they are going to expect you to be back. And there's not going to be any grace period. It's like, no, we need you. I need you now. And this person's going to be, be strict with you. Like all that feeling sorry for you and all that buddy, buddy shit's going to be gone. That's when I see you, um, not giving a fuck. Mm -mm. First of all, 
you've been worth more for a long fucking time. This person kept you at seven pinnacles. Spirit's telling me with the knight of pinnacles, meaning you've just been at this, you've been stuck between a seven and eight forever. You should have done hit the eight and then some a long time ago. But this person is holding you back. That's what they're telling me. Mm -mm. They were stealing from you and you female. This fucker, let me tell you something. They've been stealing from you. And you're worth a lot to the work community. You are the best fucking thing since sliced bread. If you go somewhere else, do you know how much you're worth at another place? This person been stealing out your pocket. Say word. I don't even know. My, my team backed me up religiously, and I love it when they do. But I've been put through a lot of lessons, baby. I really have. I really, really have. Look, Queen of Wands with Six of Swords. Six of Swords is my spirit guide card. This old girl here, confident, pretty. Let me tell you something. I've been put through some shit now. Spirits put me through a lot of stuff. A lot. And it does take me a while because in this scenario, somebody here has made you feel very judged. But don't worry, they got your back. Whether or not the shit that they was even saying was true or not. Because why is Spirit describing them as a liar, cheating ass thief? I think that they were scared of your adva your advancement. They were scared of your knowledge. I mean, before you know it, if you would have advanced to the eight the way you were supposed to, you probably could have surpassed this person in the industry. And let's face it, they need you working for them. You're making them look Good. If if it wasn't you out there, rain, sleet, snow, hurricanes, who else would they depend on? They don't care that you don't have no personal life. They prefer it that way. Something else happens here with the 911 that is unforeseen. Everybody got a little family somewhere. And that's when I see you telling this person, go fuck themselves. Go fuck yourself. They called you at the wrong time. And this person is going to go crazy. Because for once, they're going, like with that um, Nine of Swords and that Imprisonment card. For once, Boss Man's going to be stuck there in your spot. Answering questions that he cannot answer. He don't know half the shit you know, boo. He don't. He don't. All right, Spirit, let's watch the Friday's bathroom. King of Cups. That's when he gonna talk about he love you. Boy, he doesn't. <laughs> Look, with the Page of Cups and the Emperor. Boy, he gonna start acting real fatherly towards you. These are all fatherly cards. Yet he's going to remain stoic. He is going to react with compassion. He still wants to be stoic. He's still going to react in his masculine energy where he's going to come off very traditional. But he wants you, I think there's an age difference between you. With the page, pages are children. There's an age difference. But you know I look at you as a daughter. You know I see you like a daughter. Do you? Do you? Is this how you want your daughter to live? <laughs> Boy, look, with this fast ass. Boy, look, that's when he's going to start offering you more money. He's going to start offering a little raise. And he's going to tell you how hard it was to get it. I'm going to give you a little bit of money. And you know why I'm saying it's a little bit? Because Ace of Pentacles is a lot of it. The reason I'm saying it is the Knight of Wands. It's still, this would be a lot of money to a Knight of Wands. And he's already telling me that you a baby. So he's going to graduate you to a Knight, which would be teenager money. But this would be a lot of money for you. And he's going to tell you how hard you worked to get it. And how hard he had to fight for you to get it. Mm -hmm. Matter of time. I've been really thinking. You know, I'm going to take a risk on you. And I'm going to. There's something going on. The risk is there's a. Listen. This is a place of employment with the Ten of Pentacles. The risk is uh, he runs the risk of people finding out that he's a fucking phony. Nine of swords with the 
with the king of swords. They're going to find out that the boy don't know shit about dick. And then he's really going to be on his feelings. Because he acts like he hid Hansha up in that bitch with the emperor and a king of cups. This is a man that knows how to play daddy. Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. At work. There's a lot of shit this man don't know. But, on the other hand of that, there's a lot of shit that you do know. And Spirit's telling me it's a damn shame. Four of Cups is a damn shame that you've been there this long, making this little tiny ass bit of money, and judgment is here. Um, this place of employment that you've been stuck at with no forward movement, here's the issue. Hierophant's here, which tells me that God intervenes. Now, most likely you are going to have someone die in your family, as did I. If not, God's here to shake the shit up. See, nothing goes on too long. Either this is management here closing some shit out, or this is the divine shaking your life up. Okay? Um... This could be you walking away. There's just no forward movement here at this place of employment. Y'all ain't seeing eye to eye no more. Um, I've been stuck waiting on these promises of Ten of Pentacles. You've offered me a lot of money for a long time. Matter of fact, you owe me back pay. That's when I see you telling this employer. Hierophant is um, someone above you that you respect as a higher power, I see that changing as in you saying, peace. Uh, five of Pentacles is here, and then you start worrying, right? Like, what are my options? I'm gonna be poor now. Like, I really start, I need to start budgeting my money because I don't have a job. That's when I see you, and you're gonna feel like you failed. Like, oh my God, did I do the right thing? And I see you considering your options. Then I see you thinking about your kids. You start thinking about the past, you start thinking about the babies, and you're like, oh my God, I gotta tell people the truth that I am juggling money. I am struggling right now. I see issues going on, going on at home between you and others because they're not gonna take this news well. You know what I'm saying? That there's delays on your money. 22 to the 22, two of cups to the two of pentacles. You know what I mean? Like, uh, we can't spend the way we used to. And this is going to be a challenge for you, but you're coming up on it because it's necessary. Um, something really put you in a hermit energy where it isolated you and you started thinking like, what's my next move? The devil was here whispering in your ear to stay. Eight of swords. Just stay locked up with the devil. Just stay. Things are good there. Just stay. Just stay. It doesn't have to be an empty seat. We'll take you back with the devil in reverse and your ass been stuck there. Listen, that's when the devil started sweet talking you. Because see, there's an empty chair up in that piece when you're not there. That's when the devil starts sweetening a pot on your ass. But if I was to flip it in reverse and you were there, well, there you are. And there you are, the devil's pawn. And you, Henny, really got you. You, you ain't never leaving. Somebody here was admiring the devil, too. Boy, they will be admiring something. They will be admiring an empty fucking chair. That's when this world card comes into place. And this woman here takes control of her life and starts giving, starts caring about her. Do you care about your happiness? Because that's what I see. Then you start caring about the well-being of your family. Meaning, I need to take control and start caring about the time that I spend with my family. Ten of Cups. King of Pentacles. Um, you start thinking like a man, think like a man, behave like a woman. You start thinking like a business owner. You start, um, real, really utilizing your abilities. Like, okay, what am I good at? What do I know? I see all these offers coming towards you that are small and not worth your time. And you walking away from them and you, you're like, are you serious? You go all for me got a little bit of change. Nope, here comes this other offer, baby. Look, here comes this offer. And it's, you was at the Seven of Pentacles at the last job, right? Then this fool wanted to act like he had to pull some strings to get you the Eight of Pentacles. I see this employer here. Hmm. Uh, let me knock you two notches up to the nine. This is um, not only upgrading you from a Seven of Pentacles. They're going to take you from the Seven of Pentacles to the nine where you should have been.
this whole time. And I do think you're a single mama with that queen of cups and them children. I think you've been juggling money and you started growing, you started to panic. Know your worth, child. Know your worth. Mm -hmm. You got motherfuckers competing over what you know. You got knowledge for days. Look at them competing over what you know. Class is in session. And you're, I'm sorry. And I see people getting real arrogant with you. Um, and this might even be you. Like, I'm sorry, but um, I'm going elsewhere. Now you the empress up in this piece. Yeah. You're real strategic about what contract you sign right now because you're being noticed for the amount of work and knowledge you have. Oh, yeah. It was a matter of time before you got happy. This shit gets posted that you doing the most. You making all this money. You got gifts and gifts and gifts. Bet you got some haters out here. Oh, yeah. Waiting on the opportunity. Yeah, they hating, baby. They're hating on this opportunity that you got that you absolutely love because they still stuck in a four of pentacles hanging on for hope, probably with this last asshole uh, employer. They're bitter and they had a lot. What do they had? That they don't know shit. They don't know. They, this is uh, two of swords is I don't know. Because they've been hoodwinked. Two of swords is being hoodwinked. And they angry and they fucking bitter. Mm -hmm. And they doing the most being petty. Mm -hmm. And they're shook that your little ass, Queen of Pentacles, is a somebody. That you're a leader. That you took control. And not for nothing, you left and had no grudges about it. You left with this. You didn't say nothing mean when you left. You just knew when to leave. It was like, you didn't have anything nasty to say. This is somebody here even talking nasty shit about you. You had nothing nasty to say. It was just my time to go. Even though it was hard on you to do, there was stress involved. Somebody here had the faith of a lion. Temperance is like, man, I know I'm going to be okay. Not that you weren't trembling on the inside. You were. Uh, you had more than one reason to be upset. You had just been through something very devastating that needed uh, time for you to heal from. I mean, like, all this stress was on your shoulder. That's when spirit come in hard body. Uh, not you, not you, boo-boo. No, that's when this shit started pouring into you, all types of offers. And you started having your way. Um, people that were going to try to, like, coddle you and suck up to you, there was an energy around you that was, homie, don't play that. I don't think so. Not today. This you had the stars watching over you with the star and this um, page of swords. No, 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 no. Check again. Check again, my friend, because we don't play that shit over here. With all this six of swords and the stars, it was just this time. That's all I'm going to say. I know because I know. That's how I know. Okay? I see some shit shaking up for you. Um, I do see that it comes with its fair share of... Uh, this stuff. They want to talk about this. This offer. You about to get a big ass offer, man. They talking about this offer. You about to get an offer. And it's for a ton of money. But before that, there's something here with the justice card. And justice, there's a message coming to you of finality. Legal situation or there's right and there's wrong. And I'm, I'm, I'm the bearer of bad news. Um, this person gets real creative and tries to offer you this tiny little advancement, okay? And then they're going to tell you that this is the amount that's due you, and um, I had to do a lot to get you there. And I see you walking away with a grudge, like, are you, are you at your damn mind? There's somebody here that will be offering you money soon, okay? And you will feel like you manifested this next offer. Like, well, here, here's the message, and it's going to look good. Like, um, well, that's a fair, that's a fair price, right? It's a fucking page. It's a page offer. It's a page. It's a page offer. You're going to feel like you manifested this tiny ass offer. Let me tell you something that you bet not. You bet not. You tell them no. Walk away and consider it an insult. 
Hell no. No, you are worth the nine of pentacles, boo. Hell no. Not no, hell no. Not no, hell no. You walk away and you consider that an insult. You hear me? Please. You know how, you know how uh, hard it is to find good help? Knowledgeable help with all the certification and degrees you got? Please, child. Now, understand your worth and add 25% tax on it, okay? Look, I just hope that helps whoever take care of you.